Mike Zero, Foxtrot, X-Ray Bravo, M0, FXB, making this video. M0, FXB, I had a question about these, see here it says TXRX, zero, zero. Now someone asked me, what are they? And I agree with them, what are they? And if you go to A or B band and select, go to mode and put it into DN, yeah, A, B, you get these TXRX and they have two zero zeros next to them. So I've been reading the manual, which I'm going to add to this video and I will literally will read the manual because I've never used it. But basically, the RX, let's put it into single receive. Right, here we are here. So the TX and the RX are Digi ID numbers. So at the moment, their default is zero, zero. And when you're in group mode, um, you know, when you're, have you ever seen group mode? I'll show you. You can set these numbers, right? So you could set them to say 50, TX, RX at 50. And then someone else in the group could also have set them to 50. Now, is it like a, a, a way of uh, almost like filtering out who you talk to? So I'm going to read that in the manual. I will hit the group, the group mode button. But I've got a feeling to do that. I'm going to have to be connected to my hotspot. So I am. So I might have to try that separately. But what the next part of this video will be reading the manual. And then we'll put it into Fusion. Hit the group mode button and, and just see what it looks like. But I don't think it's anything I'd ever use. But it is a question I got asked. So I'm answering it. So uh, we'll move on from that. So moving on from the actual radio, now let's look at the the manual. So obviously we're talking about the TX01 it says on here and RX01 here. So what, do, what does it mean? You get it on the A and B band and you only get it when you put it into DN mode as we, sh as we saw earlier. So what we'll do is just, we'll just read that section. Um, Using the convenient digital C4M group, so about the digital group ID feature, digital group ID, DGID function allows using the two digit ID numbers to communicate only with specific group members. The desired DGID number from 0 to 99 is set in the advance, set in advance by all group members. This ID number may be set separately for transmit and receive. When the same ID number is set for both transmit and receive, only group members with the same ID number will be heard. This feature may, may be used to limit communication only to group members that have the same DGID number. The GM function may also be utilised to automatically model whether, monitor whether or not group member stations with the same DGID number are operating within communication range. So it's all quite interesting. I mean, read the rest. So that's what the two numbers are for. It's all about group mode and also location and proximity to each other. I don't, I don't use this at all. So, but just so you know, here it is on the manual. Press and hold the GM key. The DGA ID number setting screen will be displayed and then you can change it. Press the GM key again to select the receive one. So you've got one for transmit, one for receive. And there you go, and you can change it. So, uh, yeah, it's not something I'll ever use. It's quite advanced. Got some good diagrams here. As you can see. And then it goes on to repeat us. So it's all about group mode and digi ID. So now you know uh, why the FT3D has TX and RX 0, zero when you're in DM mode. 7-3, all the best. Uh, message me if you use this.